flat cap chef and uh, I'm now going to do uh, potato cakes. So this is using leftover potatoes, mashed potato. Um, don't want to waste food, just uh, take it, pop it in a bowl, the extra bit of cling film on the top, pop it in the fridge and you can keep it for a day, two days, it'll be absolutely fine in the fridge. And then you can bring it out and make these lovely little potato cakes as a snack or accompaniment. So let's come down and have a look. So I've got a knife, I'm actually going to do mine with spring onion and I'm going to do another one with chilli. Okay, so quick prep, so here we are, spring onion, take the end off, take this off at the end here. I'll take this outer layer off, there we go, peel it, and it away. Now, what I want here is quite fine bits of spring onion. I don't want great big chunks, but you don't need to actually cook this. It can have a nice little bite. You could use um, uh, any onions, red onions, white onions, it doesn't really matter. You could use perhaps some sweet peppers if you wanted to. So there we go. I've got my spring onion. I'm going to do a quick bit of chopping there just to get a little bit smaller. Okay, that's my spring onion prepared. Now I'm going to do a chili. I'm going to use about half this, so take the end off, bridge, cut it in half. There we go. And we don't want these white seeds in here, that's the real heat. Scrape those out. Then I push down a little bit to open it up. Not on the shiny side, as I've said, if you watch the video on chilies. And then I'm sorry, I'm going to cut like this. Just strips. And then fingers behind, I want to have small bits of chili. I'm only going to use half a chili here because I don't like it too hot. But that will be enough. There we go. Now I've got my green chili. So now here's my potato. It's, uh, it's been wrapped up in clean film. Take it off there. A bit of a bowl, it doesn't matter what sort of bowl you use. I'm going to grab a handful of the potato. And there we go, it's about the right size. Now I'm just taking this, take, let's take the chilies, just going to wash the hands first. Take the chilies, drop them on. then just, with a fork, work them together. That's all we need to do, get them nicely mixed. So you can put anything in these that you happen to have hanging around. There we go. And then I'll do my other one, different bowl. Same sort of amount of potato. In it goes. Pop the onions on the top. This is really nice. I like these with the raw onion. It has a nice bit of bite, bite to it. Mix the onions in using the fork. There we go. Oh, pop that bit in. And that's that bit done. Put that to one side. I'm going to grab some flour. Just going to put some flour on my surface. Plain self raising, doesn't matter, you're not actually baking with it, you're just going to use it to dust. Get some flour on your hands, let's go back to the chili. There we go, pop it out into my hand. Quick roll in the flour, and then we're just going to shape it. I want this to be about oh, a centimeter. So three quarters of an inch thick, there we are. Quick coat in the flour, back in its bowl. We'll do the second one. So this is the one with the spring onion. Get a bit more flour on my hands, stop it sticking so much. There we go, drop it in. There we go, shape it. So 
a nice big one. You can do half the size if you want to, but that's a good size for me. You can see it's they're about the same. A bit more flour on there. Back in its bowl. I'll wash my hands. Particularly to get rid of the chilli that was on there. It's always good to have an apron, you can dry your hands. Okay, now we move over to the pan. So I've had this pan just heating up a little bit. I'm going to, I like this with bacon so much that so you don't have to do this. If you want a vegetarian version, that's fine. I'll pop some bacon in here. And you put it in the same pan so you get the flavour from the bacon as well. Then we just take our potato cake, pop it in. You want this to be hot, otherwise it will absorb lots of oil. You don't really want that. Same thickness, take the same amount of time. I'm going to heat this up. It doesn't take very long to cook. I've just got a little wooden spatula here. Get this bacon over. I wouldn't normally put oil in when you're cooking sushi uh, bacon because it produces its own, but not quite enough. So you just add a little covering of vegetable oil or sunflower uh, oil. You really want to, maybe, you know, half a millimetre deep, that sort of, pretty quickly. And you've got it on a high heat. It's going to start to brown up underneath. Get the pack down, nice and flat. Thicker it is, the longer it's going to take to cook. There we go. Get that bacon over again. Again, the lovely flavour in my case of the bacon. As I say, the vegetarian version doesn't do that. Okay. Flip her over and look, you see, you've now got that lovely crispy coating on the other side. So that's taken, what, two minutes to cook. Remember, this potato is already cooked, all we're doing is heating it through. That's all we're actually doing here. Put this bacon over. I'll grab a plate. almost to the point where we're ready to serve this. So you get a nice crispy coating on the outside. That's helps by the flour. You do have it on a reasonably high heat, otherwise you won't get that. Uh, and you'll go a bit soggy, if you don't really want. So I've got my bacon. I might have to use a little bit of kitchen towel on the bacon. That's coming out now because I want to absorb the excess fat that tends to sit there. So we're literally just going to use some kitchen towel. Meantime, that's still cooking nicely. Just check again. Looking great. So I think that's now done. So we pop that onto the plate, move this off the heat. It into their artistic arrangement of bacon, and there we are leftover potato cake in this case with chili or spring onion, all sorted.